Hello again, everyone out in YouTube land. Uh, today we're doing a review on the Line 6 Spider Valve Mark II. This is the second version of this amplifier. Yes, uh, it does have a Randall combo above it and the Randall cab below it. I'm running the Line 6 into the Randall cab. And the red LEDs are my work. But <coughs> this video isn't about those. It's about the amp itself. This is the first part. Basically just going over the amp itself. Uh, I won't be playing it this in this particular video. I will be making a second video since this amp has so many different features. I mean, so many different things that can be done with it. It's sometimes a little confusing, but once you get everything learned, and when, basically once you learn how to operate everything, you can get pretty much any tone you want out of this one single amp. And as you see, it is a tube amp. But it's got four 6L6s in the back. Up front, you can see the two 12AX7s. Those are just for some of the effects. Uh, the preamp is the digital section. So, I mean, you got your 16 different amp models. There's eight of each with two per. You got your drive, your bass, your mid, your treble. Your channel volume <clears throat> and then you get into the effects uh, the first is mainly a on the pedal this is mainly like a stomp box you got your gain your auto wall all kind of different things a pitch shifter second is chorus phaser and tremolo and lastly is delay echo and sweep echo and the last in line is reverb. So, seeing it is a tube amp, it does have a standby and a main power. So, you first want to flip on the main power and you'll see it is line 6. The digital section is done by line 6. The power section, which is all tube, is done by Bogner. You can see that right there. Tube amp designed by Bogner. So, of course, when you first turn it on, you need to wait a second. Let the tubes warm up. I found my combo, my Randall combo, takes about 15 seconds to warm up, if that. This one takes a good 30 seconds because it's 100 watts. Um, as you can see, delays on. Up front, you got your four channels, but remember, you have 32 banks of four channels, so that gives you 128 possible channels. So far, I've had this for a little over a month, uh, and I've only made six tones thus far, because I've been pretty happy with the tones that I've had. But once you get it on, you flip on the preamp section. I mean the, excuse me, standby, not the preamp. Uh, and then once you flip that on, it's ready to go. But seeing that I'm not going to be playing at this particular moment, I'm just going to keep it off. One thing I have noticed is when it's off and just sitting here, just to keep the tubes warm, you'll hear some little electric fizzling, I guess, is the best word and it's coming from the tubes I've already found that that's where the noise is coming from but it doesn't it only does it when it's just sitting here on standby but that's the amp itself pretty much and you have there is a quick loop a looper built into it uh, only 18 seconds I believe it is you're tapped so you can set your delay uh, and then your various effects and for each for each channel you got an amber 
and a blue. Amber and blue for every one. So there's two per. And now I'm going to st stand back a little and show what else. When I first got this amp, I wasn't very happy with it because I'm mainly a hard rock metal player. Uh, you can basically see by my guitars. I mean, the Ibanez is, is I'm, I'm starting to learn jazz and classical. So, I still got to get the books for that, but I've been reading up online about it, and I've heard from several people that basically classical learning that can really help your overall playing and just basically help your basic understanding of music now you do not get this with the amp you have to buy this separately it's usually two hundred dollars but i was able to go through guitar center and i was able to get it for Either 125 or 134. I can't remember exactly. But I got it. I live in middle Georgia. And this is. This was shipped out from Fresno, California. Two day air I believe. And I got it the second day. It's it's a decently big pedal, pedal board. 13 buttons. Uh, your volume and wah pedal and it can also be used to uh it's also an expression pedal for like the pitch shifter and the other effects that are built into it which there are a myriad amount of effects i mean just so many effects yes over to my left is my morley bad horsey 2 and a loop station that i use quite a bit Especially seeing I'm a only guitarist. But one thing I noticed once I got the pedal and I hooked my computer up to it via USB. See, it goes right into the back of the pedal. I got it nice and long, so my computer, I can put the computer wherever I want to do it. And it comes with. Once you buy it, you can basically update the digital section and the amplifier. And they continuously do updates. Uh, oh, I gotta connect the USB, that would help. This is the uh, software for actually editing. You can tap into the amplifier from your laptop it's the spider valve mark II editor so basically it syncs all the presets onto my computer it takes a second sometimes shorter sometimes longer but as you can see it's slowly getting all my presets. You got to remember there are 128 presets, 32 banks of four. 32 times four is 128. We're waiting while this gets done. 85%, 90. And then you'll see when it's done, all your presets will come up on the left side. Uh, this is good for even an acoustic and a bass guitar, depending on what kind of tone you're getting. It's mainly for electric guitar, but there is a setting for uh, acoustic guitar using the clean channel. Uh, as you can see, you have the different FX, and each one can be pre the preamp or post the preamp. So you can see it actually puts the pedal after the preamp. All done digitally. And there are some 
it does have some digital things, some digital sounds that sort of get get in the way of the tube sound, but overall you get a better sound with the tube powering it than any solid state design because everyone knows tubes have that more organic and basic the basic sound I mean it even on flat it sounds amazing when everything's set to 12 but, but that's basically it when it comes to this part of the video I will be making a second with probably each one of my electrics plugged into it so you can hear all the different tonal possibilities because each one of my guitars has a different set of pickups in it they're all EMGs but like the the black the EC1000 has the EMG James Hetfield set the Schecter Hellraiser has the EMG 81 and 89 which are coil tappable the only I mean coil splittable excuse me uh, these are some of the only EMGs that are coil splittable and it's even an, an 81 that can be split and it sounds like a hot rodded tele type sound telecaster and then lastly you have back in the back the Horizon, the H1000 Floyd Rose, it has the EMG 81 7 string version and the 707 which is pretty much equal to the 85 for 6 strings but the 707 is for 7 strings but it sounds like the 85. Over here on the Kerry King it has his signature set 81 and 85 for 6 string. 81 in the bridge, 85 in the neck. And the Ivanez still has its stock pickups, but I'm going to be changing them out for some Seymour Duncan Jazz, and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to be putting in the bridge. I've been looking around. I don't want to go too crazy because I want to keep it, I mean, pretty much as stock sounding as I can. Just try to liven up the sound and put basically better quality parts in it I almost bought the pickups as soon as I bought it but I realized it's not very easy changing out pickups on a semi hollow body and I haven't done a video on it yet which I will be getting to soon but overall this is an amazing guitar there's the one major thing I don't like about it but I'm getting used to it and that is the floating bridge if I didn't know this when I first changed the strings but I took all the strings off and the bridge fell out of place and I was like holy crap how am I supposed to set the scale back I basically I the uh, the Eclipse has the same scale length as the Ivan is so I just took a piece of wire and cut it and basically the length from the nut to the bridge and I matched the Ivaness to that and it's pretty much perfectly intonated as well as you can get with a full floating bridge well not full flo a floating bridge but that's it for this video there will be another one coming soon like I said I still have to do all the possible tonal capabilities I just don't know how well my phone is going to pick up the sound coming out of the amplifier but I'm still gonna try if it sounds like crap tell me and I'll figure out another way to record it but that's basically it uh, and like I said uh, biggest thing one last thing is when you do buy the pedal, you get what's called the Infusion Update Package, which gives you 56 more effects. And 
uh, basically gives the amp more low end, more bass, more crunch. And basically you get better tones, louder tones, more crunch, more gain. Uh, the equalizer works a lot better for each tone individually. But that's basically it for this video. I will be back soon if you have any questions like how I did my LED lighting or any questions down below. Everybody knows there's the comment thing and you can comment, ask questions, scrutinize me if you want. I really don't care. I'm doing this for those who actually care. If you have any more questions about this amp, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And I may even make a video for your question. Have a good day. Peace.